I am Brandon Newfield, uh, 21 years old. Uh, I'm a photographer from Whitby, Ontario. The adrenaline rush is probably one of the best things about rooftoping. Uh, the photos are cool, but uh, I think in the end it comes down to the experience. Nowadays it's a little harder. Most of them are getting locked up because of the large amount of people doing it, so you really got to get up, get your shots, and leave. Otherwise, you're probably going to get caught, and uh, it's really not worth that anymore. If I'm thinking of hitting a roof, I have to really make sure the, uh, the reward is, is worth the risk in the long run, not just a terrible photo and I get arrested and then, you know, it's really not worth it. No, it's just nice seeing the city from different angles people don't usually get to see. Uh, you could be 80 stories up on a building just overlooking the entire city instead of paying $40, $50 for the CN Tower, shooting through a glass floor and just, just not really doing it the fun way. When I first started, it kind of branched off of video. Um, I just used to take photos and stuff on my phone around the skate park, just whatever was happening when I wasn't skating. And then all my friends got cameras. I wanted to have a camera as well for uh, just to film skating, make videos for YouTube and such. And um, after I did that for a bit, it really wasn't for me. So I just kind of switched over to photo and then from there it just uh, stuck with me and kept going with it. Uh, so I got into the urban scene through a, a friend of mine. I just saw him post something on Instagram uh, on a rooftop, just sitting on the edge, just dangling his feet, and uh, just caught my attention. I, uh, I asked him to take me out, and after my first roof, uh, kind of hooked on the being up high, getting the nice views, and places people weren't usually going. So from there, I, every day I was just coming downtown, shooting, climbing, anything illegal I could pretty much do, I would, I would try to do. I've been caught four or five times <laughs> with security. Um, cops twice, I uh, just got warnings and just pretty much was told not to come back. One time I was climbing a crane and the building got surrounded by, I think about four or five cop cars. We tried to run, uh, we didn't make it too far. They pulled up on us in pretty much every direction and just kind of yelled at us and whatnot. So far I'm pretty lucky, banned from a few buildings, but uh, no jail time or any, any record yet. Nowadays it's kind of try to shoot street and other sort of things, maybe an abandoned building or subway tunnels from time to time, just anything that still kind of give you that rush that people don't get to go to and uh, it's still accessible. Urban photography to me is just I mean, it's getting to places that people aren't legally allowed to go necessarily. So like soccer stadiums when they're not open. I've been to an abandoned NFL stadium, prisons, churches, prisoner of war camps, just everything like that. The photos are great, but I feel like the experience is really what it comes down to in terms of like what you gain as a person. In the end, it's all about kind of what you get to do in your life, as opposed to just like walking around street level, you know, you kind of get to see what's going on, or you're, you're 50, 60 stories up watching people and they have no idea. I don't remember the exact date. We were just kind of out in the city wandering. Uh, rain picked up, but uh, we kind of had an idea in our minds. We wanted to go to this roof. It's 80 stories, tallest uh, residential building in Canada. Uh, it was locked up recently, but you know, we kind of Got away around that, got up there, and um, it had started freezing rain recently. Everything was just kind of covered in ice, but we were there, we weren't gonna leave. Uh, I think we were about uh, nine, 900 feet at the very tip. The city was pretty much just covered in fog. Once again, it wasn't a great thing maybe for photos, they weren't the best, but the experience of being that high, climbing it in the storm, was, it was definitely worth it. So Instagram, Originally it was just shooting anything on my phone. I'd post anything I could shoot at the time. And once I really got into the urban scene, uh, that really blew up, I guess, in a way. And um, it got a lot more attention. So that's where the followers came in. And then from that, companies and other people start seeing your work. And um, yeah, I've done stuff for companies. Uh, currently working with Google for the new phone. Uh, done a few stuff for some clothing companies, some watch companies. And I like to shoot for some more companies um, like Nike. I did a very, very small amount of work for them, so I'd like to do some more. I'm not too sure. It's, everything it changes all the time, so it's kind of whatever comes around, really. Um, if the pay is nice, you can't go wrong with that. Woo!